Hello everybody and welcome back to the Electrical Engineering Channel. I'm your host Tyler and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Integrated Lights Out System or ILO on the HP servers. So with that, let's get right into the video. Okay, so of course our first step is going to be to turn on the server and the KVM. So I'm going to turn that on and power on the server and then we will wait for that to boot up. The second step is to plug an ethernet cord into the switch and then plug the other end of the ethernet cord into the ILO ethernet port. Okay, so now we are gonna go and as you can see, the splash screen is now booting up and we are just going to wait for the splash screen to boot up. And we're going to want to enter in the BIOS setup. So we're going to press F9 when it gives us the prompt. So I'm going to hit F9 now. Again, sometimes you have to hit it twice. and it's just going to boot up. So the whole reason why we are entering the BIOS is because we're going to want to disable that splash screen. With the splash screen enabled, um, it's basically going to make it so that we are not going to be able to hit the F8, which will allow us to go into the ILO setup. So. I'm going to go down to Advanced Options, hit Enter, Advanced System ROM Options, hit Enter, then go to Power On Logo. As you can see, it's enabled. We're going to set that to Disenable, Enter, Escape, 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 and then hit F10 to save the changes. Now we're going to wait for the server to reboot up. Alrighty, so as you may be able to see, the splash screen is gone, and it's going to prompt us to hit F8, and we have to be pretty quick at this. So, okay, I just hit F8, and now we are in the ILO configuration. Alright, so now that you're in the ILO 2 interface, we are now going to go to Network, select DNS slash DHCP, Make sure that DHCP is off. You can press spacebar to turn it on or off. And then hit F10 to save. Then we're going to go to network again. We're going to select NIC and TCP slash IP. Hit enter. Make sure network interface adapter is on. Make sure that this is on. Then select the IP address that you want. Type in your subnet mask, which should be 255.255.255.0. Then select your gateway IP address, minus uh, 192.168.0.1. Um, depending on uh, what type of router you have, your uh, default gateway will be different. Um, then once you have all those settings, you can hit F10 to save. Also, if you're getting these handy down, you want to go um, to User, Edit, and um, sometimes data centers will put their own passwords and it will not be the default password. So you're going to want to select that. Then you want to go down to here and change the password to either the default password, which should be on the card that pulls out of the server, um, or a password that you uh, want to make. So uh, yeah, and then you can hit F10 to save the changes, and then you can hit exit, hit enter, and then it will say that it's gonna reset the ILO. So this basically just resets the ILO, gets everything configured. And now we are going to go on to the GUI. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you um, how
how to actually access um, the ILO. So sadly this doesn't work on Google Chrome, it only works on Internet Explorer or other browsers. So we're going to type in the IP address 192.168.0.41, hit enter. It's going to say welcome, and then it's going to give us the total error. Um, you're just going to hit continue to this website. It really doesn't matter. I don't know why it pops up like that. Sadly, this only does work on LAN, so you're not going to be able to use this on a WAN. I am using a uh, Raspberry Pi. Well, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi, and I'm just going to remote into that, and then use that to turn it on. Um, you could set up a VPN, but I don't really feel safe having open ports. So you're just going to put in the username, which we specified as administrator. Then we're going to go get the password real quick. And now we're going to hit login. It's going to load. And as you can see, we have the status summary right now. It's off. We can momentarily press the power button, turn on the UID, or launch the remote serial console. Um, I have not activated the ILO, so remote serial console won't work. Uh, let's see here. Um, we have remote console, which doesn't really do anything right now. Um, you do have to reload the page uh, sometimes because it will expire. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. So then if you go to administrative and licensing, this is where you'd enter in the license key if you had one. Then uh, power management. So let the reload again. So if we go to power management, you can see that we can momentarily press the button, press and hold a uh, power meter, yeah. See, so you need to have it activated. So some features don't work, but the basic stuff does. So as long as so you still are able to um, turn on the server. So I'm going to go demonstrate the UID and um, me powering on the server through the ILO real quick. Alrighty. So as you can see, um, server number three is off. So right here we're in the ILO, and I'm just going to turn on the UID. It's going to reload, and as you can see, that little UID um, light is on. Going to turn it off. Three, two, one, and it's off. Um, all right, now I'm going to momentarily press the power button remotely. So three, two, one. It's going to ask me for confirmation. I'm going to say yes, and as you can see. The server is powering on and right here you can see it says on so um, now you may be wondering now what the servers on and you're in a remote location now what so we don't have it yet it's not booted up yet but if I go to team viewer and launch that so Right here it says server 3. So once it boots up, it's going to automatically start Team Viewer. So I can then remote into Team Viewer and be able to um, use that. So uh, yeah, that's why you don't really need to activate the license key. Unless you need to be doing a lot of work in the BIOS, which in that case, um, you would want to activate that license key, but I don't even have a VPN to connect to, so it's a little pointless for me to be paying for that. So yeah, um, then if we go and power management, refresh, so annoying. Okay, so we're going to go to power management. And I'm not sure what cold boot is. Um, you could write down in the comments on what it is and try to just look it up online, but why not ask people? So again, momentary press, press and hold. So if I press that, um, if I press it, it's going to ask me and it's going to fully shut down the server, like a hard reset, which you do not want to do because now when I wake it up again, it's going to be really angry at me. 
So yeah, um, that is pretty much the UI, not the UID, what am I talking about? That's pretty much the ILO. Alrighty, so that appears to be the end of the video for today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and it helped you out. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, have a great day.